What's up my fellow modders? Have you ever wanted to internalize your DVD playback kit all while keeping the functionality of your port? Well, you've come to the right place. Stay tuned. So I always start this mod by disassembling the dongle itself. The easiest way I've found is just to saw at this little seam until you can shove a razor blade in, at which point you will be able to pry it open. Take care while prying not to damage the PCB inside. Once you get the front bit off, you will want to remove the back bit. Again, this can just be pried off by using a flathead screwdriver, then it just slides off. Now removing the connector itself, I'm just going to be using a hot air rework station just because I have one, capped on tape, and lots of liquid flux. Though removing it using some solder wick is possible, just a bit more time consuming. So let's get familiar with the dongle's pinout. We will be using the red, white, green, and black pins. I've also added the spot that you would need to attach your Zerk XE chip to if you're coming from my other tutorial. If not, you can just ignore it. Time to break down the Xbox and retrieve ports 3 and 4. Now you could do this on any port you want, but I'm doing it on port 4 as that just makes the most sense. Before moving on, let's get familiar with the ports. Each individual port is made up of five wires, red, white, green, yellow, and black. You will notice these match the colors I showed in the pinout before, minus the yellow wire, which is not used, so just ignore it. Here's the schematic I will be using. It may look a bit intimidating at first, but don't let that scare you off. It's actually really straightforward. This is the relay I have decided to use, but really any SPDT 5V relay will work. The nice thing about this relay is that the pinout diagram is printed on it. So let's get this prepped by adding in our diode as indicated by the schematic. I'm also going to take a bit of glue and attach the relay directly to the back of the dongle, keeping it an all-in-one package. To make this easy, I'm going to prepare two sets of four wires, all color-coded to the schematic. This set will be for my dongle, and the second set will be for my relay. Each wire is about 7.5 inches long, which is long enough to get to my desired mounting area, which will be about here. Next, take your dongle wires and attach them one by one to their correct points. Once that's done, take your green wire and attach it to the latch side of the relay. Now with our set of relay wires, just go ahead and attach them to their appropriate spots. Just take note on the orientation of your diode, they are one way. Eventually, you'll be left with this. I'm going to take my group of port 4 wires and cut all but the yellow, at about the halfway point. This gives me enough room to work with on both sides of the wire. From here you can get the ports involved, take your green wires from the relay and attach them to their proper spots. This first green wire will connect to my controller port and the other green wire goes to the motherboard connector side. From here, every like colored wires just come together. So all your red wires need to be soldered together, then solder all your white wires together, then solder all your black wires together. At which point you will be left with one blue wire, which will need to be soldered directly to the controller port's metal shielding. I take my tweezers and just give it a little scratch. It helps the solder bond. Once you get everything connected up, you're still not done. If you happen to have your metal shielding in place, you will need to isolate the port you did this mod to. Easiest way around this is just to remove the shielding altogether. But if you don't want to do that, some electrical tape works, or if you're really hardcore, you could chop up the shielding. Really, the choice is yours. 
Now, my situation is a bit unique as I've removed half the shielding from the controller ports to add in LEDs. If you followed my tutorial on how to do that, then you would be in the same boat. If you didn't, then you have a bit more metal to deal with. You could just cover the entire port's metal with some electrical tape. I'd imagine that'd work just fine, like I've mentioned before. But in my situation, only some tabs in the top bit of the shielding actually make contact with the port. So I just chopped off the two tabs, then added a small amount of electrical tape to the top of my port. Another thing to note, not all Xbox controller plugs are properly grounded. So if you're having issues with the mod not working, then you will need to pop open the controller port connectors and just add in a blob of solder. I found that most aren't properly grounded, so this is probably a requirement. The IRI will need to be moved to a location that can actually be picked up by the remote. Moving the eye is easy, just solder an extension wires to wherever you plan on mounting it. If you're using a Zerk XE, then your eye is already mounted. If not, then you could use the same type of mounting method, just attaching it to the lip or maybe drilling a hole in the faceplate and mounting it that way. Or if you have a translucent console, then you could just mount it here on the metal shielding. So here's what my final install looks like. I used small zip ties to make it all tidy and to attach it in place. I also trimmed a lot of the wires down. It doesn't move much and I'm confident it won't short on anything. But as an added precaution, I went ahead and added some electrical tape to the bottom of my DVD drive as it moves up just slightly. Now, you may not feel comfortable leaving it exposed like this, at which point you could get some large heat shrink, or you could just wrap it in electrical tape. But I wanted to make it look the best it possibly could, and I'm really not all that worried, because like I said, it doesn't move. Now, just put your Xbox back together, and if you did everything right, enjoy your new mod. Thanks for watching. This video has been a long time coming. Hopefully it was able to give you direction on how to do this mod. If you have any questions or want to see a specific mod, be sure and let me know. And until next time, peace. peace.